catching cheaters one at a time. It's Cheaters Hotel, only on Power 1043. Angelica. By the way, I'm just now hearing about what your boyfriend's name is. What's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> His name is Spike. 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 Yeah. His parents are really big fans of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Get the hell out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, tell me about Spike. I mean, like, with a name like Spike, surely he's not a cheater. What do you th- What's going on? So we've been together, like, four months now. We both got out of long-distance relationships before we got together. And I really do like him, but now I think that he's maybe not feeling the same way about me. He still hasn't told me that he loves me, and I know I love him, and I tell him all the time. And it's just getting to a point where it's feeling a little weird, you know, not getting an I love you back. What does he say? Thank you? He just doesn't say anything. Or he'll, like, give me a hug or, like, a kiss on the cheek or something. Oof. What? Okay. So so when it comes to this situation, you're starting to really kind of get a vibe that you guys are on different pages. And you're just yeah. kind of worried that he might be cheating on you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why else he wouldn't, like, say it back. So I have this feeling that he could be cheating on me. And I really, like, I'm just tired of thinking about it. Honestly, I can't, you know, I don't want to think about this all the time, but I can't help it anymore. Jeez. All right. Okay. Well, listen, we're going to call him up and, you know, we got to change things up with the way things are now. And and so we're going to offer him this trip that he can use any time in the next year or so. And then we're also going to have it set up so that he can send you, hopefully you, roses with a special note attached. Okay? Okay. Catching cheaters one at a time. It's Cheaters Hotel. Only on Power 104.3. All right, so Angelica thinks that her boyfriend Spike is cheating on her. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought that this guy would be a cat? Oh, stop it. But apparently they've been together for about four months, and she feels like they're not on the same page because she said I love you to him, but he just doesn't say it back. Yeah, it's getting to a point where she's like, am I wasting my time? Is he cheating on me? Right. Why isn't he saying I love you? And that's why we have to go ahead and put him to the test. So let's go ahead and give him a call. And hopefully he's going to be wanting to to send her on this trip and get these roses. Let's call him up. Hello? Aloha, is this Spike? Yeah. Aloha, Spike. My name is Sharon. I work with a travel agency here in town. We're called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm calling you to let you know that your name has been selected as one of our weekly weekend getaways to Las Vegas. All because your good friend took a trip with us and signed you up for the weekly flyaway. And congratulations. It's your lucky day. Your name was drawn. You're this week's big winner, which means a free trip to Vegas. Oh, wow. Let me tell you what we're going to set you up with, okay? Okay. So you're getting two round trip tickets to Las Vegas from Honolulu, a two night stay in one of the MGM Grand's 1300 square foot parlor suites, custom made bathrobes for you and a guest, plus food and gambling credits. Wow. Now, best part about all this, no strings are attached. We don't need a credit card. All we need to move forward is the first and last name of a guest you would like to bring with you. And then I'll sign you up and you can take this vacation whenever you want. Oh, wow. All right. Well, cool. I, I'll take, so I could just tell you the name of the person I want to go mm-hmm. with. Yeah. Um, now, as out of touch, because this trip is good for one year, in the meantime, we will send your guest a dozen roses. I just need a quick note that's going to go with the roses, and then we'll be all set to go. Okay. Um, love you, Mom. Uh, wouldn't want to spend time with anyone else. Oh, okay. This is, you're going to bring your mom with you to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, so uh, I guess this is where I should come in and tell you, uh, this is Dex and Candace K on Power 104.3. Spike, there is no trip to Vegas or Roses. Uh, we're, we're actually doing something called Cheaters Hotel where we test relationships out. And apparently Angelica thought that you might be cheating on her. She's actually on the other line. And I, I think that she might have some questions for you. Yeah. She really does. Spike, are you what? are you kidding me? Are you what, kidding are, me? what is this? Your mom. You're taking your mom? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I'm your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Why would you want to take your mom on a romantic vacation to Vegas? Well, I'm not. They just told me it was fake. No, but, okay. Okay. (laughs) That's not the point. The idea is the fact that you would want to take your mom over your girlfriend. And why would you want to take her, though? Well, I I actually feel like Spike. I mean, I didn't think I would be on your side, but I mean, like, I kind of like the idea that you're going to take your your mom to Vegas. Be quiet, Dex. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) I just don't ever spend time with my mom anymore i just i just thought you know it's a good chance to spend time with her it's my mom okay i guess that but i need to know why what do you mean she's my mom that's why no i need to know the why you tell me that you love me why won't you tell me that you love me oh my god can we just not do this now 
What is this? No, what are you, no, what did you call here, up the now. radio for? Why, why won't you tell me that you left me? It's an easy question. All right, I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't think I'm there yet. Well, what's wrong with me then, huh? Like, what am I, what am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with you, babe. No, I just. Then what? I, I just, I just think I'm kind of not, not over my ex still a little bit. Whoa! Oh, oh, come crap. on. Oh. Well, you pulled it out of me. Why are you even? Why are you even with me at this point, Ben? If you'd rather bring your mom with you to Las Vegas and you're still in love with your ex, what? I'm not. Why are you even? I, with I, I'm, me? I'm trying this out with you. I'm just. This, this, we're not married. Trying this out with you? Well, it's still relatively fresh of a relationship. Damn! That. Why'd you have to say that about the ex, dude? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Angelica, are you okay? I mean, I don't know if I can even do this. Like every time I see him, I'm just gonna be thinking about how he's so obsessed with his ex. Like I don't deserve to be in a relationship like that. Why did you involve the radio station in this? Why couldn't we just talk about this together alone? Because I just lied. You won't tell me anything. I needed some help. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Angelica, yeah. do you still love him, or are you wanting to end this relationship? Where are you at? I don't know. I kind of want to end it. Spike, what are your thoughts whenever it comes to this? I mean, I can't I can't give her the level of commitment that she wants right now, and I'm trying to be honest about that, and I'm, I don't know. I'm just working through things, and she, she needs more from me right now, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not right, I'm not there all the way. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think maybe, you know what, it's four months. You know, you didn't lose out that much time. Yeah. Uh, maybe it is time for you guys to go your separate ways. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Maybe you got to talk about this later on. Because, uh, yeah. Spike, you need to do a lot of soul searching. Right. And never admit that it's about your ex. Come on. Yeah, that was a dumb move. So I should have just kept my mouth shut and just let the relationship go on with her not knowing. Or you could have just broken up with her. Hello? Yeah, I have to. Yeah.